what if we tell you that this viral Heinz ad with over 70,000 organic views was created completely using AI? And this isn't the only one. Brands like Nestle and Martini have also created viral ad campaigns just by using AI tools. So we wanted to see if we could do the same and you will not believe the results we got. Ready? This is an ad for Dunkin' Donut that we created completely using AI tools. And in this video, we'll show you exactly how we did it in just five easy steps. And don't worry, you can follow along even if you're completely new to video creation. Let's get started. The first step is to lock the concept or idea for your ad. Now, this is where you can get as creative as you want. Since the scope is quite broad, a simple way to get started is to gain clarity on these three questions. What kind of audience are you targeting? Since we are creating an ad for Dunkin', we want to target young, energetic people who love desserts and coffee. Number two, what emotions do you want them to feel on watching the ad? We want our customers to get excited about trying new flavors and feel the joy of delicious donuts while watching the ad. And three, what features about your product do you want to highlight? We want to highlight the selection of bright, colorful donuts we have and show how well they pair with coffee. Now, doing this exercise will help you come up with several ideas itself. But you can go a step further by checking out your competitors in the market to get an idea of the kind of campaigns that have worked for them. I really like this one showcasing various fruit glazed flavors by Krispy Kreme. Now, once you have your concept, the next step is to turn it into a script for the video. Thankfully, with ChatGPT, you can do this in minutes. Start by signing up or signing into your ChatGPT account. And once you're logged in, you will use the prompt box at the bottom of the screen to give the AI prompts for the kind of script or copy you want. As with any AI tool, how you write your prompts will massively drive the success of your video. Now, you want to use the responses from the questions above to write your prompt. But before you do, also make sure that you include the following key elements. The type of video you want, such as ad video, promo video, etc. The product or service and target consumer your video is for. For instance, a promo video for Dunkin Donuts. The length of the video, such as 30 seconds, 1 minute. The tonality you are going for, such as funny, witty, cheeky, etc. And any additional details that you want in the output, such as creating the video only using images and music. Keeping all of these details in mind, here's how we wrote the prompt for our commercial. Now, a detailed prompt like this ensures that you get a fairly detailed script from the get-go. Once you click enter, ChatGPT creates the script in real time. It takes a couple of minutes depending on how long your video is or how complicated the topic is. And once you have the first draft, you can read through to see if you want any changes. If you do, just give it additional prompts. I don't particularly want to have shots of people in the video and I feel that the text is a little too wordy. So let's prompt it to remove all of that and make the ad crisp and short. Here's how I'll write the prompt for that. Now with that, we have our script and I actually really like this version. Now once you have your copy, it's time to start creating your video. Log into InVideo and go to the Templates tab where you can choose from a library of over 5000 templates to create your video. You can use the search bar on the top right to filter out the search results by typing in specific keywords. And you can also use the menu on the left to further filter out the search results based on aspect ratio, type of video and industry. To preview a template, simply hover your cursor over it and don't worry about getting an exact match for your brand colors or fonts as you can edit these details later in the process. For this ad, we want a template with minimal transitions, solid fonts, and a colorful peppy vibe. So now once you find a template, click on it to go to the template page. Here choose your aspect ratio if you haven't done so already, and then click on use template to go to the editor. Now this will get you to InVideo's super intuitive editor, where the canvas area in the center shows you the preview of the video. Below it is the timeline where all your scenes are lined up and synced to a royalty free music track. And on the left, you have the assets library from where you will find everything you need to create your video, such as stock media, text styles, an option to upload your own files and more. Now let's get to the next step, which is replacing all the placeholder text and media with your own. We're going to start by editing our text first because that sets up the context for the video. For this particular ad, we have very little text and we only need three different scenes. 
Now, since we already have our script from ChatGPT, all we need to do is copy each line of text from there and paste it in a corresponding scene on the timeline. So for the first line of text, we'll copy it and then we'll come back to the editor and then double click on the text box on the first scene to open up the edit window on the left. Here, we'll paste our own text. I can then adjust the size and the position of the text on the screen and use the formatting options on top of the canvas if I want to change the font, the size, the color, or even the animation of the text. You similarly want to go ahead and replace the text throughout the template. Now, once the entire placeholder text is replaced, we then need to go ahead and replace the placeholder media in the template. Now, we will primarily be using images and video clips of fried sugary donuts, which we can easily find using in videos in built media library. And for the logos, as well as any Duncan specific branding, we will just go to their website and download the images. And then we'll upload them on in video using the uploads option in the left menu. Now to replace a clip in the template with an image, simply select a clip on the canvas and then go to the image tab in the left menu. Here, use the search bar to search for any specific image you want. We want donuts. Once you find an image you like, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. This will open up a pop-up window where you want to hit replace. And that's it. Your image has replaced the template default. Now to replace the template media with a video clip, go to the video tab in the left menu and use the search bar to search for the kind of video you want. Once you find a clip you like, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas and hit replace in the pop-up window that appears. This will now open up another pop-up window where you can trim the duration of the clip to match the duration of the scene. Simply select this option on the bottom left corner that says trim video to fit scene and then drag around the selected portion to pick a part of the video you like. Then click on add and your template default will be replaced. Depending on how many scenes you need according to your script, you will have to repeat the same steps for all. If you feel like you need more scenes than there are in the template, you simply go ahead and click on the add scene button above the timeline to add a scene. And if you feel like the template has more scenes than you require, simply select the scene on the timeline and hit delete on your keyboard to delete a scene. Now, once you've replaced all your text and media, the next part of your video customization is your music and your logo. The template already comes with a default music track, but if for some reason you don't like it, go to the music tab in the left menu and search for music tracks based on mood or genre. We are looking for a peppy, fun music track that matches the colorful vibe of the video. Once you find the track you like, simply select the existing track on the timeline and hit delete on your keyboard. This will delete your existing music track and then click on the plus icon next to your chosen track and it will get added to the timeline. After you've replaced the music track, you might need to slightly adjust the duration of the scenes to sync up with the audio track. To do this, simply drag the end point of a clip on the timeline and bring it to where you want it to end. And finally, you want to replace the placeholder logo on the video with your brand's logo. In this case, Duncan. We've already downloaded the Duncan logo. So to replace the placeholder logo, we'll simply click on the logo on any scene. And this will open up our logo menu on the left. Here, we'll upload our own logo image. And once it's uploaded, simply click on it and it will get replaced throughout the template. Now, once everything is done, click on the play button underneath the canvas to preview what your video looks like. I honestly love how well this ad has turned out. After you're satisfied with the results, just go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. And if you get stuck at any point or want additional assistance, you can click on this chat icon right above the timeline to access our 24 seven support team. The response time is less than 30 seconds. Alternatively, you can also access additional tutorials and articles on our help.invideo.io page. Now here's another cool hack. While the video is rendering, you can also choose to repurpose the same video for multiple platforms or aspect ratios so that you can reach the maximum number of people with the same time and effort that you have spent on this video. Simply click on the auto resize for social media button underneath the download option and select your new aspect ratio here. 
in video will then automatically resize your video for that aspect ratio. You can make minor adjustments and your video will be ready in no time. And that's how you can create an epic commercial in minutes with the help of ChatGPT and InVideo. Don't forget to check out the last ad we created using AI here. And check out this video next if you want to know how you can use AI to turn text or blog posts into videos.